all right friends welcome back after a very long time i hope you guys are doing really well i'm really sorry for not uploading content for a while but i'm back to my workspace so today onwards i'll be uploading content on a regular basis so now let's move on to our multi-purpose laravel and view 3 application and in this specific video we'll be working on adding user authentication system so i hope you are really excited for it and for user authentication we'll be using laravel view and 45 package so first of all let me give you the demo of what it gonna looks so here we have this login link if i click on this link it is redirecting me to this login page and here we need to enter valid email and password and let me click on sign in now we are redirected to our dashboard right and if i click on logout then we are back to this page but we cannot access admin slash dashboard unless we are authenticated so throughout this video we'll be building this exact thing so let's get started okay so first of all let's start by installing laravel 45 as you know 45 is a front-end agnostic authentication backend implementation for laravel so we can use react view blade or anything on the front end and 45 registers the browsers and controller needed to implement all of laravel authentication features including login registration password reset email verification and more right and this is really a great package from laravel so let's install it first composer require laravel 45 and next we need to publish 45 resources using vendor publish command so let me copy this as well and it publishes these resources now we need to do PSP artisan migrate and do yes and it is saying nothing to migrate because i have already migrated and inside our config slash abroad psp we need to add this class inside of providers array so let me go to config slash abroad psp and over here let me add that class okay now if i visit slash login page and it is saying the target laravel 45 contracts login if your response is not instantiable so to fix this let me go to 45 service providers instead of app providers and here we need to add 45 login view let's pass the closer and for login view we will return the view call auth.login so here we are telling 45 that when someone visits slash login page then it will render this auth login dot blade dot psp file so if i refresh this page we do not have that file so it is saying auth login not found so let's define that file which is inside of resources views and then let me define a e folder auth and then login dot blade dot psp now it will be empty right and for login page design we'll be using bootstrap login page and i have already made some changes and kept inside of resources views stops and then login.blade.psv file so let me copy this and let's go over to login.blade.psv file and paste that now if i refresh it then we have this beautiful login page right here we'll be using view so we'll be extracting this into a login component so instead of resources gs pages let me create new folder called auth and inside this let me define login.view file now let me copy the content from this file not every content but inside of this body tag let me copy and inside this let's define the script setup and inside of template let's paste that in and on this page let's define the div with the id of app and let's a router view and inside that let's display that login component and we haven't registered this login component so in our app.js file let's register it over here app dot component login and we'll be using login 
and we need to import this import login from pages slash auth slash login dot view now if I refresh it then this is working but if I remove this component from here then this is empty right let me open up the console and here it is saying, giving the warning that no match found for the location path slash login so let's add that inside of our queue router as well so routes.js let's define that route over here slash login admin.login and the component is login and to make sure to import it import login from pages auth slash login.view file now that warning is gone this is perfect now let's go to login.view file and inside of script tag let's define the constant called form and we'll be using reactive from view email is empty string and password is empty string and we have defined this form state and in our input element we can do v model equals form dot email and for password b model equals form dot password and here while submitting the form here the button type is submit and over here let's remove this and on submit prevent the default behavior and call handle submit method on it now let's define this method const handle submit and we'll perform the axios request axios dot post will be posting to the login route and then we'll get the response back and we'll redirect to admin slash dashboard page so window.location.srf equals slash admin slash dashboard now let's try this let me click on sign in let me go to the network tab and click on sign in and it is giving 422 status and it is saying that the email field is required and the email field is required and it is saying the email field is required because we haven't passed these parameters so we need to pass the form while sending the post request so now let me try it again and it is saying that the credentials do not match our records right it is submitting the post request but these are not valid but if I enter the valid password, let me close this. Let me enter the valid password and click on sign in. Now we are redirected to admin slash dashboard page, which is great. Now let's add logout functionality as well. So let me go to app.blade.php file and let me search for logout. And over here, let's add a form tag let's add csrf token and let me copy everything from here paste it here and for the form the method is post and the action is route logout and on this link let's listen for the click event using on click event.prevent default behavior and this closest form and submit the form and for the nav link let's add this class over here refresh it if i click on logout then we are logged out but there is one issue like we can easily access slash admin slash dashboard over here without login because we haven't added the middleware so for now we'll be just adding the authentication middleware so that the, any authenticated users can access this dashboard but later on we'll 
create our own middleware called admin middleware and we'll use that admin middleware to access this dashboard so for now let me go to web.php file and over here let's add the middleware called auth okay also we need to protect each of these routes using auth middleware so let's do route middleware call auth and let's apply this middleware to every routes using group let's group them together so let me copy everything and paste it here okay so that these routes are also protected so only the authenticated user can access these routes which is perfect now we are redirected back to login page if we try to access admin slash dashboard or admin slash users right which is great and here we haven't sound the validation message when these credentials are not correct so you can work on that part but in the later video i will also show you how we can show those validation message now if i let me enter the valid credentials click on sign in we are redirected to dashboard which is great so this much for this video i hope this video was helpful for you so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one soon